All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Kurt, and welcome back to what's the later. So, if you've enjoyed your stay this far, hope you've been having a good time and we're staying safe. This is week number four of the IBA. IBA season four, week number four. We're taking on Kyogre Kai. Kyogre Kai? Kyogre, I don't know. Kyogre something or other. Coach of the Lansing Leafeon. So, if you guys are excited for today's Wi-Fi battle, please hit the like button and subscribe to Guns and New Here. And with that, we're going to hop right into it. So, you can see on the left-hand side, he brought Darmanitan, Garchomp, Rotom, uh, Ferrothorn, Galvantula, and Pentacruel. No Galarian Moltres, no Pangoro. I could have brought Cosmic Power Mew and just 6 0 this poor man. All right. Um, Shout out to my boy, Young Mikey, for the for the mocks. Uh, Mikey's learning how to play Pokemon, and he gave me a mock, and he actually did okay. Shout out to Mikey. That's my boy. Um, lead wise, I think Swampert's fine. Because if he leads with the Galvantula, he has to click E Ball. Because I don't even think he can risk webs. But it also covers a Darmanitan, a Garchomp, and a Ferrothorn lead. And a Rotom lead. It really covers everything, except for Galvantula. And if he leads Galvantula, I can just go into Clefairy. So, let's talk in that. So, good luck and fun to uh, Kyogre Kai. I don't even comments on my video. Shouts to you if you're watching this. Shouts to you, guy. You're pretty cool. I like when people do that. Um, we are currently 2-1. and one. I'd love to make it 3-1, and one because that'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's rock up with this. This is very loud, though. He leads with Galvantula. He might just go for webs, but I feel like he has to click E-Ball. I feel like he has to go e for E-Ball here. I'm not going to risk it because I need this for Darmanitan. I'm just going to go into Godmother. If webs go up, I have Court Chain Cinderace. And his removal is Tentacruel. Which means he has to get webs back up. So, like, if we both play with webs, that's fine. And if he Rapid Spins, I can just Court Change again. So, I'm kind of okay with how we're, how we're sitting right now. If he gets webs up, I think he has to E-Ball, though. I think he has to respect it. He could just webs in my face. Um, if he does webs in my face, I think I'm just going to baton pass with Clefairy. Because I get the slow momentum and I can go into Cinderace and start popping things. Which is good for me. But I think he just evolved here. Yep, there's Ebal. Nice. Um, we see Life Orb. No, that's Sash. Okay. Um, so I just want to Baton Pass, I think. He may set up webs on me. So I kind of want to Moonblast, actually. I can Baton Pass on anything else next turn. I'm going to Moonblast here, because it breaks this thing Sash. I don't care if Ferrothorn comes in. Um, and if he goes Tentacruel, it's annoying, but it's yeah, I can deal with it. I'm not in a shit spot if he brings in Tentacruel. He's going to withdraw into Tentacruel. Damn. Okay. So he's not even going to risk the Ferrothorn coming in. That's fine. As, what does Tentacruel do? Probably T-Spikes, if I had to guess. This thing is... T-Spikes are so annoying for my team, bro. Um, I think I have to go into Stitch. I could also go into Fantasia. I have heal, I have soft build on Fantasia, so I can play a little bit aggressive with it. I don't want a Psychic. What are you doing? I think I'm going to go into Fantasia. If he knocks, it's annoying. If he knocks, it's annoying. But I'd rather keep Evil Light Uncle Fairy because he's not Life Orb Gal, but that is, he is annoying. He does knock. Ugh. I should be calling these things. These are things I should be calling, and I'm not. So, um, he's probably going to go Ferrothorn here. He's not going to want to take the Psychic, and Ferrothorn's his only resist to Psychic, so I really want to double. Um, his plays, I really want to double Cinderace because I don't think he has a better switch into this. Other than Ferrothorn. And I think Scald is such a cat play for him. So I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to make the double in the Cinderace. I'm going to make the double in the Cinderace. I'm going to make the aggressive call. Because I don't think he gives me Tentacruel. This might be me completely overplaying. This might be me completely overplaying. And if it is, I'm going to kick myself. He does withdraw. Into Rotom not what I wanted, but it gets me to the same place. Um, I'm just going to U-turn. I don't think Scarf Rotom is a bring against me. It. I know that's a stu I know that's stupid logic, but like, I may as well get the U-turn chip. I may as well get the U-turn chip. Because I think he needs the bulky Rotom for this Mon. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to go into Swampert. I'm going to go into Swampert and get my rocks up. Because rocks being up is good for me. It also blocks a Volt Switch. So... If he hydros, I'll take it. Pretty okay. Not great, but I will take it. And as long as Swampert's alive, Darmanitan isn't the most scary. He does Volt Switch. Um, I don't want to get Toxic, but I don't also... I also don't have anything that wants to get Toxic. Um, Volt. 
lefties. Uh, I'm just gonna get my rocks up. I'm just gonna get him up. He may toxic me. If he does, it's annoying, but I can flip turn out next turn. He can go hard Tentacruel, but I can just Earth Power and punish him for spinning. He can go on a Pharaoh Thorn. I'll just flip turn out. He can do he can do a lot of things, but Swampert being in just gives me good positioning. He does burn me, but I'm special Swampert. That's actually insanely good for me. That's insanely good for me. We are special Pert, so me being burned is better, so that way I can't get poisoned. Um, as I'm just going to flip turn, as I think he hards out in a Pharaoh Thorn here, which I will take the contact damage, yeah, but it gives me the momentum, and I think that's worth, yeah, I think that's worth, um, just to get the slow momentum off on Rotom, so I'm going to flip turn. It also gives him the illusion that I'm upset about being burned, but I'm really not. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really not. Um, yeah, so how do we set up Mew to win? How do we set up Mew to win? What does Mew need to be at to break through Ferrothorn? If he's Fizz Def Ferrothorn. Like, plus two? He's gonna withdraw, so I do get the momentum. Into Ferrothorn. That's fine. Because we literally just need Chip on this. I have no items, so ultimately I can set up on Ferrothorn. With Mew. So ultimately, I'm actually not that worried about it. So, all I really need to do is eliminate the Darmanitan and the Galvantula, or set up before the Galvantula comes in, and we're fine. Um, in comes Cinderace, or Luka. Because Luka one-shots Ferrothorn, right? Eh. Depends how bulky he is. Cinderace is just free. Cinderace is just safe because it gives me the chip on Rotom that I need. Um, or, like, it gives me free chip on Rotom that he just is not gonna enjoy. So, um, I'm just gonna Pyro. I have no reason to not Pyro. Because I could U-turn and predict, or I could Zen and predict, but ultimately I'm just playing for chip. I'm literally just playing for chip damage. Ferrothorn is going to die if he over predicts. Rotom is going to take rocks plus a Pyro Ball plus a U-turn plus the U-turn he's already taken. And Tentacruel is going to take the same thing. He's going to take rocks plus a Pyro Ball plus a Zen Headbutt next turn. Um, so ultimately I really don't care. Plus the little bit of Moonblast chip I got on him earlier. So I don't actually need to play overly aggressive with the position I'm in now. I think making that initial double in the Cinderace actually got me in a really good spot momentum wise. Because now I can just click buttons. He's gonna Tentacruel. Um, let me pull up my Cinderace versus Tentacruel Cow. Cinderace. Tentacruel. That Zen Headbutt kills. Zen Headbutt kills from here. So. Unless he's Payapa. And if he's Payapa, Scald won't kill me. Um, him being Payapa doesn't affect the Skull, but like. And we hit. No spin. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Cinder, KO, Tenta. Nice. Um, that's a really, that's really good because now spin is gone. So now if he gets up webs and spikes and shit against me, I can just court change them. And that's really good for me. Because either we both play with hazards or nobody plays with hazards. I'm not playing that type of game where, where he gets hazards up for free. Nuh-uh, not me, not me, Bob. Not me, Bob. Nuh-uh, not me. Um, that does get rid of a setup opportunity for Mew. Mew could have easily set up on Tentacruel, but he could have had, um, not Clear Smog. What the fuck is that called? Acid Spray? And that would have kind of just ruined the whole thing, so. I could see Scarf Darm. I could see Garchomp coming in. Um, he could go Rotom, but there's kind of a good amount. Um. Are you Scarf Gal? Does Scarf Gal even kill me? Scarf Gal doesn't kill me. Why did you send him this one? Is he Scarf Galv? He is Scarf Galv. Okay. I'll live this because I'm Cinderace and he has Galvantula. Dude, absolutely chewed. Absolutely fucking chewed. Bye. Um, that works for me. Cinder KO Galv. Okay, so there's no webs. No webs is even better for me because now Urshifu can literally just come in and do what he wants. Whenever he wants, however he wants it. Um, I like that. Yeah, I didn't need health on Cinderace because what am I taking damage with? Like, what am I? What hit am I taking? Volt Switch from Rotom, I guess. Like, I didn't need the health, so I'm content with that. He probably goes. Is he not Scarf Darmanitan? Darmanitan, you take rocks. I know he brought Belly Drum last week. I know he brought Belly Drum last week. Um, and I really don't want this thing to set up said Belly Drum. Dude. Okay. If I go hard Swampert and he 
belly drums, he dies to Swampert. If he subs, he doesn't have enough HP to belly drum. Cinderace is nice for what? Breaking down Ferrothorn, which my team doesn't do super well outside of Luka. Other than that, it's it's faster than Garchomp, but can't kill, and Rotom ultimately can't do anything. So maybe I just U-turn to scout for the information of Scarf. I'm going to scout for the information of Scarf, because if he kills me, he d is double Scarf. Okay. So, yeah. Not Utility Umbrella. U-turn's not a move, that's why. Um... Yeah, so ultimately, if he clicked Earthquake and was Scarfed and killed my Cinderace off, I got positioning into Tangrowth or some shit like that. If he was Belly Drum, he had to take my U-turn, plus his it would either take him out of Belly Drum range, or it would put him in sub and he would just be low and then Swampert would come in and be free. So ultimately, I wasn't actually too worried about that play. As I'm just going to go into Sherwood and click Leech Seeds. No, because that gives in Feral Thorn. I can go into Stitch and click Flip Turn and just bring in Luka. How much does Luka do with a close combat to this thing? Close combat is a good amount. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Stitch. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip turn and get the extra chip. He might hydro for some damage. He might hydro for some damage. That is getting really close to close combat range, even if he's like max max, so. Yeah, the flip turn will essentially just negate leftovers, but it also gives me momentum if he stays in and hydros or switches. Um, I can see him going Ferrothorn, and that just gives me Urshifu. And gives me Urshifu kills, which is what I want, ultimately. I'm kind of I'm kind of playing for Urshifu kills here. He pain splits. Okay. Dude, you're going to make me go into Mew and start clicking Psychic. Mew can win the game. That actually didn't do any damage. How much does Darmanitan do to Mew? Uh, it one-shots me. Okay. I'm going into Mew. I'm going into Mew, and I'm just going to click Calm Mind. I'm going to click... I'm going to go into Mew and click Calm Mind. Use Volt Switch. Let me write this down, because Rotom is on to remember. Willow. Pain Split. So his last move is probably Hydro. Um, if he goes into Ferrothorn, I'm going to just... I want to Calm Mind here. To start putting on pressure, because Ferrothorn can't actually do a whole lot to me. But I think I'm just going to Psychic for damage. Because worst case scenario, this Rotom is annoying. So he just needs to die. Yeah, like that's close combat range after rocks. So, probably Darmanitan, but could be Garchomp. I don't think he goes Ferrothorn in risk of a fire move. I don't think he goes Ferrothorn in risk of a fire move. He goes Darmanitan, okay. Uh, I'm just going in a Swampert, because this thing is slowly just going to end up killing himself. Swampert. I kind of want to see if I can preserve the 6-0, um, because the 6-0 diff would be insanely nice, but I'm not going to try and throw the game for it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to throw the game to try and keep the 6-0 diff. How does he win with Garchomp? I don't think he does. Stitch, probably just U-turn, right? If I had to guess, probably just U-turn. Yeah, that's fine. Take your helmet ship. Ow, that's annoying. But look at that, look at that. He doesn't have any more rock switches. He has one more rock switch and then he's gone. He has one more rock switch and then he can't even take a Swampert hit. He's gone. Ferrothorn probably comes in here. Um, as I'm, if he goes Ferrothorn, I just flip turn to where? Where do I go on Ferrothorn? He could knock. That'd be annoying. Um, I think I'm going to hard switch because I don't. I want to keep the health on Swampert. I can just go hard Sherwood. I'm just gonna go hard Sherwood. Um, I need to get Urshifu in. I need to get Urshifu in because Urshifu claims a kill literally every time. Kind of wish I had Aqua Jet now, but I thought Urshifu might be better for trying to gain momentum. All right, you need to not. You need to not with this. You need to stop. You better stop! You better stop! All right. Sherwood. My boy. My boy? My girl? My boy? Which are you? What, what you got? What you got going on down there? <laughs> what you got going on down there? Uh, whatever you are. Whoever you are. I need you to hit the goddamn Focus Blast. Please hit the Focus Blast. Because if we don't hit the Focus Blast, we could be in a lot of trouble. Um, not in a lot of trouble, because we do have Cinderace, which still blows Ferrothorn ass backwards. But, I do need you to hit this fucking Focus Blast. 
Nah, okay, nah, you know what? I didn't, we didn't need it. We didn't need it. You know why we didn't need it? Because we have the next Focus Blast. It, it's always, first time, never happens. You never, you never get the, you never get it on the first time. You never get it on the first time. But the second time, second time, you always get it. Second time, you always get it. There's no, there's no way, there's no way that Sherwood would put me in such a bad position to the point where I would miss two Focus Blasts. You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> he clicks Nago. Okay. See, now what they say, right? What they say, what they really say is, what, what do they say? Fucking fool me once, shame on me. Or no, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, Tangro's a fucking clown. So you better, mother. Oh, he's shoppable. I thought I missed. <laughs> mother. Okay, bonk, dash fine. Uh, Chopper Berry as he body press. This shit's gonna hurt. Ah! Okay. Um, how much does Cinderace do to this thing? Cinderace. Pharaoh Thorn. Level 50 at plus 4 defense. I still kill because I'm a Cinderace. And if I don't, Urshfu can kill with it. So, who's getting sacked off? Uh, what do we need? We need... Sherwood for the Garchomp and the Rotom. We need Godmother for jack shit. We need Mew. I think it's Godmother. I think Godmother is getting. Godmother can also Encore. Godmother can also throw off a last minute Encore. So, we're fine on that. Godmother can get sacked off. Sorry, Clefairy. Sorry, bud. He's knockoff, Iron Defense, Body Press. Ow! Um, do I just Encore? I think I just Encore. Because... Yeah, I think I just Encore. I'm just gonna Encore so he can't, like, do some stupid shit. I kinda wa I want to die, so I don't want him to get to plus six. So I'm just gonna Encore him into Body Press. Um, because then Cinderace can come in and get rid of this thing. Encore, Body Press, get rid of Clefairy. Um, Pharaoh, KO, Clef. That's fine. No, he crit my Clefairy! Hey! That was mean! I can't believe you've done this! All right, Cinderace comes in, clicks the Pyro Ball button. He was Shoppleberry, so he can't be Aquaberry. Um, worst case scenario, if this doesn't kill for whatever reason, we have Homeboy in the back that will kill because he's still an Urshfu at the end of the day. Um, and even if that doesn't work, we have Mew who can set up all over this thing, I think. Freak, don't fail me now! Yah! Okay, go away. You're being mean. You're being mean! Cinder KO Pharaoh. You're being annoying. I didn't like that. I didn't like that Pharaoh Thorn. He was mean. He was fucking annoying, bro. I did not like him. I did not like him. He was mean. Um, in comes Darmanitan or Garchomp? Probably Darmanitan. Ah, maybe Garchomp. Yep, there's Garchomp. Here's where things get scary because my Garchomp answer is kind of dead. Um, I can U-turn into Sherwood. Luka will always take a hit, and I can get Surging Strike's damage off. I'm in a little bit of a scary spot. I think I U-turn into Sherwood, and then sack off Fantasia, and then go back into Sherwood. I think that's my play. I think that's my safest out to get Tangro with the most health possible. I also get U-turn chip on this. What's scary here is he could Sword Stance. Ow. What's scary here is he could Sword Stance. Ah, he's Helmet! Um, so I don't think he's helmet now. 97. Let me make sure that, like, a dragon move don't kill me. He's not boosting item. There's no way this kills. Yeah, no, nothing kills me here. Even flamethrower won't kill me. So unless he's, like, super specially offensive fire blast or a Draco. A Draco could also be bad. This should just get me the most... Scale shot. Okay. Ow. Stop. Please stop. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think I'm actually gonna sack Runny Babbit. I think I'm gonna sack Runny Babbit because I really don't need him for anything. Um, you have lost all purpose because Darmanitan's faster, Garchomp is going to kill you, and Rotom walls the fuck out of you. So you're actually gonna get sacked. I, because Mew could be nice to break down that Rotom still. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep that in the back. I don't think we need Cinderace, though, so. Garch, uh, 
Chomp. Ah, oh, why did you do that? Why have you done this? Why did you do that in the face of Tangrowth? You're crazy. Oh boy, what's my out? What's my out? What's my out? What is my out? Oh shit. Oh Jesus. Oh shit. Guard Chomp plus two. How about like Fire Fang? That shit kills. Shit. I need another regen round. I'm gonna Tangrowth and then Sack Swampert. Because Luka will always live a hit from Darmanitan. Oh, Jesus. Why? Why did this game have to get difficult all of a sudden? Uh, I'm going to Zen for the most damage. He should kill me off here. He does EQ. Yeah, Chomp just got insanely scary. KO Cinder. Um, wait, I've already written this. Um, I have to Tangrowth. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to Tangrowth and then Sack Swampert. The ultimate goal... Because he's SD scale shot, he has he has earthquake, so he's SD scale shot earthquake. Last move is definitely a fire move or a poison move of some sort to Tangro. That'll most likely be contact, unless he's fire blast, just standard mixed. In which case, Tangro lives the hit anyways. We get at the most range of health possible. Swampert has to die, unfortunately. Um, I guess I could have sacked Mew, but I'm expecting Fire Fang. If I'm being honest, I'm expecting Fire Fang or Poison Jab to come out here. He could scale shot. Is scale shot contact? I don't think it's contact. I don't think it's contact. He earthquakes again. Kills off my swampert. Um, um KO hurt. Okay. Sherwood comes in and does what? What is my best course of action? Because Giga Drain obviously won't kill. So I kind of want to Leech Seed and get the passive because <sighs> Leech, Seed will ki Leech Seed plus Giga will kill him faster rather than just Giga Draining. But if I miss Leech Seed, I might just lose. I feel like Leech Seeding is my better play. I really do. Because he didn't click anything to kill Tangrowth. He SDs again. I don't like what's happening. I don't like what's happening right now. Where am I at? I think with that Leech Seed, actually, I'm out of range of Garchomp killing me. 201. The only thing that kills me right now is Outrage, and I think if he's Outrage, he wins. I don't have an out to Outrage. <laughs> so I have to Giga Drain. No! I have to Giga Drain, and just hope he's not Outrage. Fire he had Fire Fang. I lived! No way! No way that just happened! <laughs> There's no way that just fucking happened, bro. There ain't no way that just happened. Come on, bro. No way. Because I would've got the leech seat off. <sighs> I think I lose now, because I don't have Aqua Jet on Luka. Fuck, I shouldn't have changed it. I shouldn't have changed it. I knew that Luka was good here, and I shouldn't have changed it. Damn. I choke and prep again. I don't think I can win. I don't think I can win. No, I don't think I can. I have no out. That flinch is so bad. Did... the plus four kill Urshifu? Yeah. I don't think I had an out. I really don't. Oh! Fuck! <sighs> Damn it. That's so frustrating, bro. That's so frustrating. Um... It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter. Damn it! <sighs> That's so infuriating. That's so infuriating, bro. Um, I'm going to Surgings and hoping that he chokes. I think that's game over, though. Shit! Did I win off of that fire thing? Because my Giga Drain does how much? Where is he at right now? He's at like half, right? He's at like half-ish. I don't think I outright won. 
but I don't, I don't, I think I lost. I think I lost regardless. I think even if he didn't flinch me, I lost regardless. I think him flinching me just took out any chance of me winning. Um, fuck, bro. Why didn't he fire Fang on the first turn Tangrowth was in? Why didn't he, I don't get it. Why didn't he do that the first time? That, that doesn't even make sense to me. Um, uh, I, I have no words. I'm literally just frustrated. I'm literally just frustrated. Uh, GG's to Kyogre Kai. I think I could have prepped a lot better. I think I actually kind of prepped like ass. Hindsight, I think, should have had Aqua Jet on Urshfu. Don't know why, but U-turn on it. Um, I shouldn't have put so much Spadef in my Tangrowth. I feel like I should have just went more Fizz Death, but I was scared of mixed Fire Blast, but I should have thought about Fire Fang being a possibility. Um, I feel like I played well until the Garchomp came in, then just started playing like shit. It is what it is. Two and two. Uh, not how we want it to go, but it is what it is. Next week, God knows how I play. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm the Crow. See you guys next time. Peace. I'm out.